Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to pay off debt fast. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can pay off debt as quickly as possible so you can free up your money and do better things with your money. So you can go travel, you can stay home with kids, you can buy a cool car, you can do whatever you want. And stick around to the end too because I'm doing a special giveaway which we'll talk about at the end. So you could win a adorable, a man is not a financial plan mug. So one of these little babies. Okay, so the first thing you have to realize when you're trying to pay off debt is that any sacrifice that you make right now is just temporary. It's not forever. So if you take a part-time job, it's just a temporary thing to get you through this big life change. Once you're through paying off debt, you can stop the job. It doesn't matter. But anything that you do right now is just temporary. So always remind yourself of that because it can feel like it's going to be a long time until you pay off debt. I get that, but it's really not. So try to break through that long-term mindset when it comes to this situation and that will help. So the next one is to behold the power of small changes. I know that sounds kind of crazy because we think small changes won't really make a big difference. Like if you were to cut out eating out a couple times a week and putting that towards paying off debt, it can sometimes feel like you're not really making great progress, but it really does make a difference. In one of my free workshops on WhitneyHanson.com, you can go through this process. It's like a 15 minute training. It's super quick and it's free, so go check it out. But it shows you how if you were to pay the minimum payment on a credit card, how it would take you 47 months to pay that off. But if you were to cut out eating out, and let's say you cut out eating out for, uh, I don't know, like $150 a month, it drastically cuts that time almost in half. It's crazy. And so then I show you if you were to get a little extra creative, maybe you get a part-time job and you put all that money towards paying off debt as well, what that then does to your paying off debt. It is so eye-opening, so you have to go check that one out. I will link that below this video. Okay, the next thing too is you really have to commit to yourself fully. You cannot be halfway in your plan. You have to be all in or not in at all. Going halfway doesn't really work, especially when it comes to paying off debt. So here's an example. When I was paying off my student loans, I had $30,000 in debt and that was a crap ton of money to me. I didn't want it any longer. So when I was working through my plan, part of my plan was working a second job, which sucked. I hated it. It was awful, like nobody wants to work 50 or 60 hours a week. I was doing tax seasons, it was like 70 to 80 hours a week, it was nuts. Nobody likes doing that, but that was a temporary sacrifice in my life. And I remember one time when I was working at the accounting firm, I was stressed out, I was tired, I was exhausted. I didn't go to Starbucks, that was my thing that I cut out was coffee. I didn't really eat out at that time either. So I cut out coffee and I was so stressed out during tax season that I thought, damn it, I deserve a Americano. So I remember jumping in my car and I was getting ready to drive to Starbucks and I pulled out my wallet and I looked at it and in there I had my debit card. And on my debit card, I shrunk a budget, one of my, bu my monthly budget and taped it to my debit card. And I remember looking at my debit card thinking, crap. I have a bigger goal and this goal is not going out to Starbucks and get buying coffee. It just didn't fit into my plan. And I know in hindsight, it's like it was a two or $3 cup of coffee. It's not gonna make or break my plan, right? But it was my way of saying to myself that I was all in. I was totally committed to my plan. Nothing was gonna take me off course. And when you have that level of commitment, when you can say nothing is going to ruin this goal for me, you will start to achieve some really amazing things in your life. So make sure that you are committing to yourself fully. And lastly, I really am a big fan of paying off the smallest debt first. Personal finance is so much more about the, the mindset piece than it is the mathematical piece. Math is important, don't get me wrong, it's very important when it comes to personal finance, but your mindset and your behaviors will totally trump your mathematical skills by far, like not even a question. So the reason that I am a big fan of paying off the smallest debt first, regardless of interest rate, is because when you get some small wins, you start to feel really good about yourself. So it's kind of that little attaboy, that pat on your back that you really need to keep you motivated with your plan. It sounds really crazy, but it, it really is a big difference. And so I'm reading a book called The Power of Habit, and it kind of touches on this too, with f uh, fitness, like weight loss, and with personal finance too. Those small little incremental wins 
are what keep us motivated and excited about our plan. And ultimately that's what builds up the habit. So I'm all about the really small wins. So yes, pay off the smallest debt first. So there you have it. I hope these strategies will help you when it goes to paying off your debt. It's not always a quick, fast thing to get out of debt. Sometimes it takes years to get out of it. I mean, think about it. it you didn't get into debt overnight, hopefully. And so you're not going to get out of debt overnight either. It's a long process. And for some people, it takes a lot longer than others. It totally depends on your financial situation and your life situation. So try not to get discouraged because you can get out of debt. I can promise you that. It's just gonna take a little bit of time and a whole lot of hustle. Okay, so you're probably curious about this giveaway of how you win this stinking cute mug. So when you cut coffee out of your get out of debt plan, you can drink from a cute cup and make yourself excited every morning. So the way to win one of these mugs is to leave a comment below this video and let me know which strategy you're gonna start implementing today. So what, what's the little thing you can start doing from this video immediately to start getting some better results with your paying off debt progress? So leave a comment below. I will do a random generator that will randomly pick one person. And then from there, I will message you and you will get this darling mug. I'll send it straight to your house. So it'll be fun. Don't forget, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. It really does mean the world to me. And if you haven't done so already, head on over to WhitneyHanson.com, check out some of the free workshops and download some of my fun cheat sheets over there as well. Remember, if you want abnormal results, you have to do abnormal things. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a good day. May the odds be forever in your favor. such a weirdo sometimes but I have fun can't deny that that's for damn sure okay anyway I'll see you guys later